wine from our lives. Some of you have been spiritually dry. Some of you have been spiritually dry, but God says, I'm releasing a new wine. I'm releasing a new wine into your lives.
Just put your hands together. Thank you. Hallelujah. Say, Lord, I'm going forward. I'm not looking back. I'm not looking to the left. I'm not looking to the right. But I'm looking to you. I'm moving forward. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me. Come on, tell them, say, thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me just as I am. Just as I am. Thank you, Lord, for loving me. Thank you for not giving up on me. Thank you for never leaving me. Thank you that you love me. Hallelujah. Yes. Come on, give the Lord a Somebody greet five people, tell them if they see you. Glory, glory, glory. Show the love of God in this place. today at Heavenly Creation Ministries and for those that are tuning in this morning as well, let us know. Amen. Say, I'm new. I'm new to this morning's service. If you're here uh, for the very first time this morning, I want you to stand so we can recognize you. Come on, come on, church. Look around. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Grace and ministry, we're happy to, that you're here with us. You could have been to other churches this morning, but I believe that you're not here by accident. I believe the Lord let you here. He ordered your step this morning. How many believe that? Amen. He ordered your step. How many of you received receive this morning? Amen. Wasn't his presence wonderful this morning? Well, guess what? Same thing is going to happen tonight at 4 o'clock. Amen? Amen. Tonight's going to be a night of prophetic worship. If you need, if, if you feel spiritually dry, all you got to do is show up and just come into his presence. And I'll guarantee you, you'll get filled. The Lord will restore you. The Lord will heal you. The Lord will love on you. So if you need that, if, if you just want to be in his presence tonight, 4 o'clock, we start at 4 o'clock. Praise the Lord. Not a prophetic worship, spontaneous prophetic worship, just like what you experienced this morning. Uh, please come out and join us and uh, invite somebody, share it. If you have not liked Heavenly Creation Ministry page, it's also on my timeline and also on the church page. Please share so others will know that we exist. Amen? Amen. We exist. We're here. Praise the Lord. Not too many people don't know about this church and uh, and our sister, what was your name again? Marsha. Marsha, she found us on Facebook. Amen. Oh, yeah. Marsha, she found us on Facebook, and she she uh, listened to one of our live services pre uh, recorded, and she just fell in love with the presence of God. Amen. Amen. Oh, yeah. She says she says I've been looking for a place where they do spontaneous prophetic worship, praise the Lord, and how God is just moving. She says she felt the presence of the Lord. Just through the live stream, amen. The power of God, the power of God, just flow through the live stream. Praise the Lord. So that's what brought her here today, this morning. So we're glad that you're here, sisters. And, and I told her, this is how we worship. We we let the Holy Spirit have His way in this place, amen. amen. Glory to God, Hallelujah. And and our and our new uh, people in the back. How did you guys hear about the church? Did somebody invite you here? Who, who invited you? All right, Alyssa. All right, come on. Glory to God. 
Well, praise the Lord. Welcome, welcome. Uh, God is doing some great things here at Heavenly Creation Ministries. We've got a three-day revival coming up. Amen. We've got a three-day healing service revival coming up. I'll give you more details as it comes. Praise the Lord. But we've got some great things in store. we got deliverance service coming up. The last Friday of the month, if you know someone who is being tormented by demons, bring him here and let the power of God cast them out. Amen. That's why the enemy is so mad because people are being set free. People are being delivered. Lift your hands. If you receive your deliverance and demons manifested out of you, you feel free today. Come on, keep them up. Keep them up. Look at that church. Come on, give the Lord a shout. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, say, now don't sit there. Don't sit there and act like there's no demons inside of you. We all got demons inside of us. Amen. That need to be cast out. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. So we thank God for this ministry. Continue to keep us in your prayers because the enemy is mad. The enemy is mad. He's trying to bring division to the church. Guess who is he trying to take out first? If the enemy can try to take out the main leader, the pastor, which is me first, then he can work his way down. But the devil is a liar. Amen? The devil is a liar. I'm going to continue to speak the truth. We're going to walk in holiness and righteousness. Amen? Amen. We're going to obey the word of the Lord every time. Glory to God. So the, so the devil's already defeated. We have the victory. Amen? Amen? We have the victory. Praise the Lord. So I'm going to call my wife up here real quick. And we're just going to get into some uh, a real quick announcement. Things coming up. And then we'll go ahead and dismiss the children. And she'll let you know what ages we are looking for the, for the Sunday school. We have quite a few things um, I want to go over in our announcements. So, um, first up, um, raise your hand if you have a birthday in June. <laughs> Mr. Tyna. Okay, so what I'll, I'll mark that down. First things first, right? <laughs> June babies. So, um, let's see. Tonight we're going to have a night of worship, like Pastor said. It's not going to be our typical Sunday evening service, but it'll be a night of um, worship. So join us um, tonight at 4 p.m. if you're able to. Um, also, we are looking for volunteers for our hip hop concert with Brother J. True. And that will be the concert is on June 25th here at the church. It's Saturday. We're going to have hot dogs, chips and drinks. And we're looking for volunteers to maybe help with that, um, the drinks and the food. And we also have flyers up here. Um, be sure to take some flyers um, before you go and invite a friend. This is a good time for um, people just to come and, and um, that don't normally come to church. This would be a good time to invite them. We have some flyers for you to take. And that will be coming up on Saturday, June 25th. Um, oh, backing up a little bit, June 17th. I wrote my things out of um, chronological order. So backing up on uh, Friday, June 17th. We're gonna have family movie night here at the church. Doors will open at 5 p.m. and the movie starts at 6 p.m. So that will be Friday, June 17th. And then Friday, June 24th is deliverance service here at the church like we typically do on last Friday of the month. June 24th is our deliverance service here at the church. We have our new June calendars out, so you can pick one up over here before you leave or if you have Facebook and follow us, you can check out the calendar there as well. We're also going to be um, uh, doing some outreach. We're going to be distributing our flyers. So if you're interested in that, it'll probably be like a few days before um, the concert. So um, just be looking out for some information or um, get with us and let us know if you're interested in doing some outreach. And uh, we can give you more information as it, it comes along. Um, the first uh, two Sundays of this month, uh, we're going to have evening service, but the last two Sundays of this month, we're not going to have any evening services. So that will allow you to be with your um, loved ones and your family. If any of you all celebrate Father's Day and um, and just recover from the concert, if you're going to be coming to the concert. So um, invite a friend, invite a neighbor, you know, a youth. Um, um, typically, our world is what will be drawn in by hip hop. So you can invite um those that you know. Um, also, for those who want to serve at the church after morning service today, 
Let's go ahead and grab your lunch and then come back and we'll meet here and uh, we'll have a meeting for those that would like to serve um, in, in different capacities within the church. Also, I want to remind everybody about, about the July gathering at Sheraton with Apostle Elizabeth. Now, um, you have seen flyers on the bulletin board and um, on our Facebook page about that. And so what they do is, it's a true conference where they have day sessions and you register. But if you're not able to make it to day sessions and, and, um, and you don't pay the registration fee, you are still able to come to the evening services, which are free and open to everyone. And they are 7 p.m. It's going to be July 14th and 15th, which is a, a, a Thursday and Friday, 7 p.m. at the Sheraton Uptown, which is Caddy Corner from the Coronado Mall. So 7 p.m., you could come there and you can, it's free, you don't have to pay anything. And I would encourage you to, to come there. And this is the reason why, is because you're going to see something that you have never seen before in the state of New Mexico. I will assure you that you you have not seen this before. You have not seen the Lord move like this before. And um, many of the people there are under Apostle Elizabeth in some capacity. Some she trained up herself in school of prophets. Some she covers their ministries like she does for us. Um, there are many of the fivefold ministers there. But this is what I want to tell you: it's not the titles, but it's the anointing on these people's lives. When they come together, you're going you're gonna to see a demonstration of the working of the fivefold ministry and every prophetic gift. Working as one, no competition. And if you go there, I would encourage you to go there, but I want you to notice that. I want you to notice if there is any competition. These are people that don't operate in competition, but they just work their gifts and they all do it in unity. And you'll be blessed, 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 blessed. They have prophetic liturgical dancers. They have people that do flags. Um, they have um, all different, um, they have minstrels and psalmists. And you'll see that all demonstrated, the things that we talk about in church. Some of the things that we do in the church, you'll see it there. So I would encourage you to come at 7 p.m. at the Sheraton Uptown. The flyer's on our Facebook page. If you're on Facebook or over here, you can take a snapshot of the flyer and see the dates. It begins on a Wednesday, but Wednesday is typically when she has she has different um, ministries and uh, ministers that she meets with because um, of her own ministry. She has it all over the world. There's people coming from Africa. There's people coming from Australia, all different countries. I mean, they'll be there around the, around the nation. And um, I would like for you guys to see that because you'll be blessed. So I encourage you to join uh, or to come. If you're not able to come Thursday night, me and Pastor are going to minister on Thursday night. So um, hit, hit. If you're available, you can come come support us. But if not, if you're not able to make Thursday night, come Saturday. Uh, come Friday night, 7 p.m. at the Sheraton. So that's just something I want to remind you of. And I think those are the only um, announcements that I have. I just want to encourage each and every one of you. It was such an awesome, awesome worship. And at 4 p.m., we'll just have more worship. <laughs> So kids, um, kids five and under can come with me in the back. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Uh, Nabe, if I can get your help on the video here. We just need to record for 28 minutes. Once the 28 minutes is done, then you can stop and then record another one. Try not to go in the front here. Um, the Lord's been awesome. He has um, He has connected us with Apostle Elizabeth's daughter. She she's involved in a business where uh, we, we record our, our services and she's able to they're able to put that on television on the uh, OCP International Television. Uh, Friday nights at 6 p.m. You'll be able to see how many of you have Roku. Roku, you have Amazon, you're able to see these live services all over the world, China, Africa, Australia, Alaska, 6 p.m. Friday, Friday nights, doesn't matter where you're at, as long as you tune in at 6 p.m., you're able to see uh, the, the, cyber, the, the services that, that have been recorded uh, here at Heavenly Christ Ministries, so 
People are being blessed. How many of you were blessed this morning? Amen. Amen. We took the worship and just the word. And so we, we thank everyone for tuning in. So get the word out. Uh, let's let's tell other people about what God is doing here at Heavenly Creation Ministries. Praise the Lord. Well, let's grab our Bibles. To this morning, every first Sunday of the month, we like to uh, participate and remember what Jesus did on the cross. We're going to be taking communion this morning. Communion. So, Brother Matthew, if I can get your assistance, sir, and uh, pass this out, I'll, I'll take one as well. If, you, if you'd like to join us for communion this morning, go ahead and lift your hands. This way, uh, Brother Matthew can go ahead and uh, give you one. There's a bread on top, a little cracker on top. We don't have whole, homemade tortillas this time. So this will be a, so we're just going to talk about the communion. How many have ever, is, is this anyone's first time taking communion? Lift your hands. Anybody's first time? Everybody's taking communion before? Yes? No? Yes, lift your hands if you've taken the communion before and you know what communion is all about, right? All right, so a few of you don't, so good, good. We need to come to an understanding of how the importance is of what Jesus did on the cross, right? Remember, church, that we don't remember and only, only think about what Jesus did on the cross, but if you look at the cross behind me, is Jesus still hanging in there? No, he, he's not hanging on there no more. He's, he, he's risen, amen? He, he was at one time, but, but, they, but, on the, but he was buried, but on the third day, he came out of the tomb, amen? So what does that mean? That our God is not dead, but he is alive. Amen. That's why we worship him. We praise him. He's here. He came. He's here right now. Amen. Glory to God by faith. We believe that he is here. The same spirit that raised Jesus up from the dead, resurrected him up. Guess what? He lives in you and I today. Right? There's power inside of us. Amen. Glory to God. So I want you to Turn your Bibles to 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 17. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 17. If this is your first time, I always like to let the congregation know that our services can, can be around three to four hours. Because of the way the Lord, because of the way the Lord moves. Amen. Some churches, they have an hour and a half service and everybody's happy going home, getting ready to go hit up Golden Corral. Tell your neighbors, say, it's not, it's not time to be thinking about Golden Corral right now. Right? Let's fix your eyes on Jesus. I'm going to feed you a little bit. I'm going to give you something to drink. So that should hold you over until next time. <laughs> Praise the Lord. God is good, right? How many of you just felt the love of God on you this morning during praise and worship? Woo. How many of you got, got revived this morning? Amen. Some of you, the Lord just touched you in a sweet way, right? It's a wonderful feeling. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. We give you praise and glory and honor this morning. Father, we thank you for a time of worship. We thank you for speaking to us, Lord, through your servant. Lord, we thank you that... That, that, that we're able to get into the word, to hear your word. Lord, today we remember the ultimate sacrifice that you did for every mankind here all over the world, Father, including ourselves, including us today, Lord. Let us not take this for granted. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, give me the words to say. Let the words of God come forth with power and authority and with love. Father, we thank you. We speak blessings on favor. We cover the church, the congregation, those that are viewing with the blood of Jesus. Let them feel your power. Let them continue to feel your power. Let the glory of the Lord be upon their lives. Father, we thank you for the new visitors that, that are here, Lord. We pray, Lord, that you would just touch their heart, that you would just minister to them, Father. And, Lord, we pray that whatever their need is, that their needs will be met. Jehovah Jireh, our provider. Lord, our trust is not in man. But our trust is in you this morning. 
So, Father, we humble ourselves before you. We give you praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody says amen. amen. Welcome to Heavenly Creation Ministries, where God's word and spirit bring freedom. Amen. This is why we are a deliverance ministry, because people are being set free. People are being free from demonic powers. Amen. I want to believe that demons are real. Demons are real, church. Lift your hands again. If, if, if demons have been cast out of you, you, you receive your deliverance, right? But even the young kids back there are lifting up their hands. Amen. You see? Deliverance is a big need. There's a need for deliverance. One thing that we need to understand about Jesus Christ is 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 17 tells us. Let's read. For faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Let's read. For we be many are what? One bread, one loaf, and one body. For we are all partakers of the one bread. God is all about unity. Everybody say unity. unity. God is not about division. The enemy wants to come in and break up the church. He wants to break up the church, the people in the church. But God is all about unity. Loving one another. Forgiving one another. Building each other up, not tearing it, not tearing each other down, but to build each other up. Amen. Come on, if you believe that, clap your hands and give God a shout. He's all about unity. Praise the Lord. 